Let's talk about thesis statements. In this video, you'll learn what a thesis statement is, but even if you already know the definition, you'll learn something more important. We're going to talk about why having a strong thesis statement matters and how to make sure that yours is doing the work it needs to do. Here's the definition of a thesis statement. It's a statement, usually one sentence, that lays out the main point of the paper or project. If you're making an argument, the thesis statement is the thing you're trying to prove. If you're summarizing something, the thesis statement is a sentence that explains and gives an overview of that goal and names the thing you're going to summarize. If you're telling me a story about your grandma's best cookie recipe and the lessons you learned trying to follow it, that's what the thesis statement lets me know. It's the point of the paper summed up into one neat sentence. So why does a thesis statement matter so much anyway? After all, shouldn't people be able to figure out what your paper is about when they read it? Why do you have to tell them what they're going about to read? Just read it. Well, think about it this way. There's a lot of things to read in the world. People can't read them all. Even if they wanted to, it would be impossible. Your thesis statement lets them know whether your specific paper is worth their time. It is going to tell them something that they want to know? Is it interesting to them? Is it unique and insightful? In addition, your thesis statement serves as an anchor for your reader. It helps them know where you're heading, even if it takes a while to get there. In this way, a strong thesis statement helps make everything else in your paper stronger too. But enough about what a thesis statement does for your reader. That matters, but it's not the only thing it accomplishes. Having a strong thesis statement also helps you. When you're trying to figure out what to do with your paper, your thesis statement will guide you. Should this paragraph go or stay? Check and see if it helps your thesis statement or not. Should you use this source? Does it fit with the thesis? Should you use a silly, humorous tone? You should if it helps you reach the goal you've said in your thesis statement. Basically, the thesis statement gives you a way to check back in on your goals when you get lost in the rest of the writing process. Let's go over some tips for a strong thesis statement. First, and this might be obvious, it should be a good sentence. Sure, all of your sentences should be well written, but some are going to be better than others. The thesis statement, however, should be your very best work. Birds should sing and stars should align. People overhearing it should go, EGADS, that's a great sentence. At the very least, it should flow well and have vocabulary that your audience will understand. Let's look at an example. Here's a thesis statement that might appear in a movie analysis paper. In this paper, I will summarize the film Groundhog Day and explain why it's an excellent lesson on how I think we should all live our lives to become our best selves. As far as content, it's not bad. It's clear what the writer is going to do and why, but as far as being a well-written sentence, well, it's not great. Let's take a closer look. The writer is using a lot of hedge words. They're telling us what they're going to do in the paper and adding phrases like, I think. It's their paper. Of course they think this, otherwise they wouldn't be saying it. If we identify all of those hedge phrases and take them out, we get a much clearer sentence. So here's the new one. Groundhog Day provides an excellent lesson on how we should live our lives to become our best selves. I think that's a lot clearer and more to the point. The next tip is to make sure your thesis statement says something worth saying. Are you going to add value to your reader's life? Are you saying something interesting, entertaining, informative, new, unique? Are you telling them something they haven't thought about before? Look at this example. It could be the thesis statement of an informative research paper about the habits of pet owners. The statement is almost certainly true. Pet owners are more likely to buy pet food than people who don't have pets, but it's so true that it's kind of pointless to say, and it certainly isn't interesting enough for me to read a whole paper about it. You might as well say water is wet or we need oxygen to survive. It's not adding anything new to the conversation. So that wasn't a really interesting thesis statement, but saying that pet owners interact with the world differently is a lot more interesting. Remember, your thesis statement doesn't have to give all of the details. It just hints at what is going to come later. So in this example, pet owners have a different way of looking at the world and it shows up in how they live, shop, and socialize. I don't know all the details of what makes pet owners different, but I know that this paper is going to give me that information. And by the end, I'll have a good sense of it. I've worked with a lot of writers as a teacher, and I've met people who think they can't start writing on their paper until they have figured out their whole thesis statement. They'll get frustrated and maybe even give up because they aren't sure what to write as the goal of their paper. Here's the thing, you don't have to know yet. In fact, you might not know until you've completed a 
whole rough draft. You don't know what you think yet because you haven't thought about it enough. Once you've done research and started writing, a thesis statement will come forward. In fact, some of the best thesis statements come long after the writer has started working because that means they really put the time into thinking about what they wanted to say. Here's one more tip. A thesis statement can help you organize your paper. Organizing is deciding how many paragraphs to write and what order to put them in. The thesis statement is part of that organization because, remember, it's the anchor of the whole paper. Everything else points back to it. Take a look at this thesis statement. I'm writing a paper about first pets and I want to inform my reader about some good options for a first pet. My thesis statement helps me know that I need at least one paragraph for each of my examples and I'll put them in the same order in my paper that they appear here in the thesis statement. Goldfish first, then hamsters, and then rats. So remember, a thesis statement is probably the most important sentence in your entire paper. It tells the reader and you what the paper is trying to accomplish. It sets goals and expectations and helps everyone's focus be on the right idea. It doesn't have to be the first thing you write, but it should be one of the first things your reader reads. So make sure it's near the top of your final draft.